Hello and welcome to the Hermacraft panel coming at you from Minecon 2018. Mm -hmm. oh, exciting yeah. times. <laughs> My name is Rain Dog. I'm here with Iskal85, Stress Monster 101, Cub Fan 135, Mumbo Jumbo. I just realized we have a lot of numbers in our names. We have a lot yeah. of numbers. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like I was missing out Minecraft. there. <laughs> yeah. Um, we all play Minecraft together on the Hermacraft server. We're in our sixth season on YouTube, mm -hmm. yeah. which is absolutely crazy. We are here together to talk a little bit about multiplayer Minecraft. And uh, we're all a bit nervous, aren't we, guys? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. feeling good? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, normally we're just in front of a, a, a computer. It's a bit strange having cameras and, and, yeah. and lights around Very us. comfortable Very sofas, mm. though. I got Extremely say. comfortable. These, yeah. these are so comfortable. I mean, there's some professional stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, we were, we were practicing this in Mumbo's room last night. Yeah, that was yeah. slightly less professional, maybe, yeah. Yeah. to a certain yeah. extent. On the floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, on the floor, mainly. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all good. <laughs> well, you know, as hermits on the Hermitcraft server, we are very used to playing with other players. And, you know, playing with, with other people in Minecraft is amazing. It's one of my favorite things to do in life, which is why I, I do it a lot. Uh, yeah. But what's it been like for you guys? Iskol, what's it been like for you on the Hermitcraft server, playing with uh, other people from different countries, different languages, yeah. different cultures? Play, playing Minecraft in general in, in, in a multiplayer environment is just, it's like you take life and you, you compact it into this perfect environment where you can do basically anything, <laughs> right? You can, you can break every block, burn every piece of diorite if you want to. And, and yeah, you just, you just get to meet so many new people. I, for me, it's been a life-changing experience. I, I remember I started out with playing with my brother and my friend, and we built <clears throat> very ugly things back in the days. Um, and now I'm playing with all of you guys mm -hmm. every day. And we, you know, Americans and, and, and South Africans. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, yeah. Huge, mm -hmm. huge. What about us Brits? Like, you didn't say anything he about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I kind of identify with you, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I put the accents on, don't I? So. Yeah, yeah, you do. Well, Stress, you're one of the newest members of our server. How's it been well, for you joining us? And, and, well, and, you know, all these, I mean, we've got people from all over the place, don't we? I'm from yeah. South Africa, we've got a Swede over well, here, we've got an American. I met you got... lot before I joined. Well, yeah, that's true. That's right. Yeah. So it was quite nice actually then playing with friends again. Yeah, because you know yeah. you all left me behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, that's, it's fine. It's forgotten. Yeah, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, some of the things that people don't really realize is there's a lot of cultural differences between the United States and Britain. So, mm. basically, exploring those cultural differences. Sometimes Iskol says words I can't understand. Oh yeah. really? I, was, <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew it. I but thought, I have to know. say, it, it's great to have a diverse community like we have, and uh, it's great to also have this guy over here, Mumbo, the yeah. redstone wizard over here. Oh, I try my best. I mean, speaking of words that I don't understand, and speaking of Iskal, actually, <laughs> because me and Iskal have a number of conversations, because Iskal seems to know more about English words than I do, <laughs> and that he will he will tell me things that, that people from all around the country say in various different accents and things, and does extremely good impersonations, and I have to say, he does he actually does a better English accent than oh, I no. do, which I think is... <laughs> Thank you! Thank oh, no. you so much! And now, I mean, this is important, I will be using that statement well. for the future, I mean, that is that is amazing, and and... Trust me, Smurgo's board is a thing. I don't That's believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I simply don't believe it. I don't know what that means. I don't, I'm, I'm going to believe you. I'm going to believe you. Yeah, cool. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's been a very interesting experience for me because we, we do have a lot of hermits from different time zones. And, uh, you know, one of the challenges for us as a group, of course, is to come together in meetings. We try to have, have a weekly meeting where we all come together and have a chat. Um, and, of course, there's the language. You know, people speak English in a... Sometimes in a very strange way. Um, <laughs> what is this? Beautiful way. Um, and I guess what I've learned from being on the Hermitcraft server is, is having patience, right? Having a bit of patience to, to, to play Minecraft together. And at the end, uh, well, I mean, we can see some of the images here that are being Look shown. Look at Scar's this, this is what happens wow. when, uh, when a group comes together, you know, uh, in Minecraft. You can do absolutely magic things. So it's yeah. been great. Yeah. Um, now, there's about 20 of us playing on the server this season. It's a lot of videos for the people out there to keep up with. But uh, not only that, we need a pretty hardcore server to run all the, the madness. I'm looking at you, Mumbo. Uh, the redstone <laughs> madness oh, that is going yeah, on. Yeah, no, I'm responsible um, for a lot of the server. I, I mean, in my defense, so a lot of the server issues that I create, I also suffer from. Like the fact that I, I never <laughs> yeah. seem to take off. So I'm, you know, I shoot myself in the foot yeah. daily with the things that I create. Indeed. But, yeah. um, but you know, it actually does take quite a lot on the hardware and the software side of things to run such a big server. Um, Eska, I'm going to throw this one over to you uh, uh, to discuss right. a little bit about what it kind of takes to run a Minecraft server like this from a sort of hardware, software perspective. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I, I believe that uh, Minecraft is a, is a game that it's come a long way because I, I want to bring this back to when I started playing multiplayer Minecraft back in 2011 and, and we would have, me and my brothers and, and my friends, we would start Minecraft from my local computer and had to shut everything else off, you know, and, and, and it was running. Um, and, and from that, like today, you can, you can go out on the inter, interwebs and you can buy uh, dedicated hardware, et cetera, et cetera. I think we have probably got very powerful hardware. I don't think anyone in this room knows because there are other people that <laughs> yeah. fixes this for us, which is great. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but, but there are so many options today. And I, mm -hmm. like that, that's, I, think, I think that's yeah. your area when it comes to the new multiplayer. What, what oh, there's, there's, there's tons of options. I mean, there's, there's Realms, which I've used before for my community. We've gotten on there, just thrown up a Realms. You know, it's very easy to do. You can switch maps without even mm -hmm. moving any files, basically. So I've, I've done that. I know a lot of you run Patreon mm -hmm. and uh, some other types of, of servers. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Stress, you have a... A dedicated. Yeah, I have no idea community. what it does though. <laughs> <laughs> you just got people that, that, that take care of it, and then yeah, I have, yeah. I have gorgeous admins and mods that take care of everything oh, yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah, but like to get started today, just the realms things, it's pretty pretty easy. Like mm -hmm. back in the days, yeah. what we had to do, we had to. I felt like a hacker. Like we had to mm -hmm. write in in, <laughs> yeah. in text files and like name and write the IP things that I don't know anything about. Yeah. But today yeah, you yeah, can yeah. click a button in the yeah. game, right? I, so. I remember I I had to, there was something that I had to do when. I think I had to go into, I had to enter my IP address into like the, the search bar and then had to port forward something. I think that was Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah is sounds familiar. Port yeah. forwarding is a yeah. thing. Yeah. So yeah. That it would allow people to actually join my server <laughs> yeah. like, publicly and things like that. I probably opened up my computer to just everyone to yeah. just join in. And just, yeah. and I didn't know what I was doing. But, I mean, yeah. you, what, what I did the first, uh, this is so silly, I can't believe I'm sharing this, but I, <laughs> I did the same thing. And at the time, I didn't. I hadn't contacted my brother. I hadn't contacted my friends. So I thought, if I press this open to land thing, people may just join. So I created a world. I sat there. Like maybe I should start the shopping district. People will come. Oh my no one God! I'm not surprised. I mean, it, it is quite amazing how far Minecraft has come, hasn't yeah. it? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of us do run our own uh, community servers. I know that some of us have hundreds of players that play on those servers, and and that's a whole another kettle of fish. Um, you know, that's generally we use something called a dedicated server box for that sort of community. But these days, if you know, I, I recently set up a realms with my family, with my my brother and my nephew and my niece. It was super simple, and it's so nice to know that multiplayer Minecraft is so easy now, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's come along yeah. so so yeah, much so far. Than it was, yeah. um, of course, with that has come um, what has been come to be known in the Minecraft world as griefing, right? Yeah. You yeah. put people oh, together yeah. on a Minecraft server. Things, Thing, things can happen. <laughs> I mean, it's basically a sandbox in a school playground. There's going to be yeah. a bully who throws a cup of sand on your head every now and then, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, Someone so, who doesn't burn diorites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, we on the Hermitcraft server have our, our own style of, of griefing, which we call pranking. Um, but to, to chat a little bit about sort of co resolving conflict on servers, uh, you know, maybe we should have a, a chat about that as we all sort of run our own communities. Mm. Yeah, um, I mean, Bambu, I know you've got a pretty big community server out there. How do you guys deal with conflict on your server? Yeah, I mean, you know, the first thing is is that with one, running like a, a, a big server like that, um, just having such a good team of people mm -hmm. who work like tirelessly and they're always online and they're always accessible yeah. uh, is invaluable. Like mm -hmm. if you can get some people that you can genuinely rely on. Um, who will who will look after things while you're not present? Then that really is kind of stage one. Like you, yeah. that's something that is just a requirement yeah. because, yeah. Uh, and then you need to communicate with them and also uh, make sure that uh, the players on the server uh, are, are aware of the difference between something like a prank and just griefing. Now on the Hermitcraft server, you know we kind of tread the line. We we prank each other, <laughs> we play, we play yeah. tricks on each other, we yeah. build build bit. certain things uh, that yeah. certain things appear in other people's bases that perhaps <laughs> they weren't expecting. Like giant uh, moustaches. Yeah, yeah. Giant moustaches happen uh, often true. thanks to Iskal over there. <laughs> yeah. um, but that's all that's all good fun. Knowing the difference between having a little bit of fun or, or burning someone's base down, like that's that's not a prank guy, that's <laughs> griefing. Um, so making yeah. sure that your admins and the people that you work with know that and can communicate to that that to the players so the players know the line. Mm -hmm. um, is, and, not, and not just by not just by 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 typing it, not just by yeah. saying it, but by actually being that 
person. And I, what I feel in my community is so important is you get these people that are amazing and shout out, big shout out to, to all the administrators mm -hmm. and moderators out there in any community. Yeah, in this yeah. 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 huge. Yeah, Thank huge you yeah. shout out <laughs> to them. Yeah. But, but I also want to give some space to the people who aren't moderators or admins, but who are there and they are just good role models. Yeah. They're yeah. just yeah, good yeah, role yeah. models. And and, right. and those are the people that eventually become moderators and admins. And I, I get that question a lot. How do I become a moderator? Well, yeah. Yeah. just be a good person. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? mm -hmm. Exactly. When and you have also, those people, then grief yeah. and disappears. Mm -hmm. It's also important from the from the bottom to the top, everybody knows the rules and understands what's yeah. expected yeah. On, on the yeah. servers. And those people mm -hmm. you, you mentioned do sort of sort of serve that role. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Although they may not be moderator now, those are the people who eventually become yeah. moderators yeah, right. and administrators. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the most interesting things about uh, multiplayer Minecraft, in my experience, is that you almost create a small little society, don't you? And yeah. that society generates its own set of etiquette, its own set of rules. And I think you guys are 100% spot on with a good, solid team behind uh, yes. the community. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Um, yeah. um, so I guess a lot of people out there, I know that when I first started looking into playing multiplayer mark, Minecraft, I was a bit intimidated by it. You know, it's kind of scary getting involved with people in Minecraft, but I don't think it's as hard as people think it is. I mean, what, are some, what do you think some of the best ways to get into Minecraft multiplayer is um, these days? I, I think projects, should we speak about projects? Like if you're playing on a server and you, you wanna, or if you wanna get to know people, I, I said this originally today that, uh, Minecraft is sort of like you take the world and you put it in a video game. The interactions and everything you do in it is, is very similar to, to that of a normal friendship. So yeah. when you uh, m meeting friends and, 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 and working on projects together is a great way to get to, to know each other. I, I built a nether hub with a guy once that I didn't know at all when we started on the Friday evening, but when we were done a week later, like we were best mates. So mm -hmm. um, I, I think that to, to, to approach it, if you're already on a server, try and get involved in some projects and you will become very- Yeah, or, or big yeah. community projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, don't, like yeah. the Never yeah. Hub, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. can do yeah. things like that. I know when I started off, Iskol and I, we got to know each other by building a giant cathedral. <laughs> yes, yes. And <laughs> man, that was amazing, that bit. Yeah, but I didn't know you at, at all oh, at first. Yeah. And I mean, I, I was like, who's this Swedish Viking that was, <laughs> 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 yeah, who I'm talking to online. And then by the end, we're basically friends. Because yeah. I mean, we yeah. worked on it together. We talked yeah. with each other. And, uh, and since sure, then, yeah. we've had burgers and yeah. you know, good times. And, and Absolutely. Uh, oh, Minecraft did that. So mm. I think if, if you're a new guy in the Minecraft community today and you, you want to play multiplayer, don't be intimidated, right? Mm -hmm. Just get get out there, get involved in a project, and don't overcomplicate it. Like like Stress said, mm -hmm. build a nether up together, build a cathedral. You know, there's always something to build. Yeah. So or a sauna. <laughs> you and I did together once. I, I'll tell the story. Shall I? Go on. I not many people know this, but I got to I got to uh, to to meet Ren, who's now my best friend. Um, and I'm not going to say one of them, which Ren said about me, but uh, <laughs> he's now my best friend. And, and it started off by me sitting on, a, on a, uh, an evening uh, and, and, and Ren had come onto my server at the time. And, we, and he said, let's build a sauna. And I, I thought it was a terrible idea. I really, I really yeah, didn't, I really didn't like the idea at the time. But I didn't say anything. I'm a nice guy, you know. I'm like, that sounds great. And uh, by the end of it, I was left. Um, Confused. <laughs> I was left confused because you had said this word in English that I've never heard before, which was exfoliating. Yeah. And then you you had been speaking about a lily pad being an exfoliation towel. <laughs> and I remember thinking, I remember going to bed thinking, I've just met the weirdest guy ever. <laughs> and I couldn't wait to like, uh. you know. Get to know you more, but but I mean we've come a long way since then. The sauna turned out great, and today yeah. I know what exfoliation <laughs> is. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm it didn't help much with uh, Python GB's exterior appearance. But <laughs> we did our best. He's still a creeper. <laughs> still a creeper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I, like I, like we're all saying here, I think getting into multiplayer Minecraft is actually easier than it th than it seems. <clears throat> I think one yeah. of the things to remember yeah. is that. Everybody on a, who plays multiplayer Minecraft is there for the same reason, yeah. right? Yeah. They want to play Minecraft with other people. So, uh, I, I want to I want to chip in and say be respectful though, because many times I see people that may uh, prank someone immediately or or maybe just you know take over someone's build. I mean, it is like in real life you gotta you gotta work yourself in and you gotta build a friendship before yeah. you before you put a lily yeah. pad with an exfoliation. Yeah, it's like it's like me and you. We go back and forth. I take the mick out of you. I would never yeah. say that to a stranger, and you have got to think that. The same way about pranking yeah. it. So like, don't just come in and just build something ridiculous on someone's build. Yeah, yeah. No, that's well, key. Because they might Definitely. just be like, 
Who is this guy? <laughs> what is, what has yeah. they done what to exactly my What is going on? You kind of need to I mean, have like a friendly... Yeah, platform. what's made it a little bit easier also is that over, over the last few years or so, we've gotten much better communication platforms to use, right? It's really easy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm looking straight at Mumba, but he's the worst when it comes to communication. Yeah, I'm not the best. Yeah, it's a yeah. famous thing that I'm yeah, no. terrible at responding to any form of message <laughs> that is just really... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. Um, but, you know, it, it is actually very easy, much easier these days to, to keep a group of Minecrafters together. We use, um, we use Discord to get together uh, as a group. We use other, you know, we use Skype to talk to each other also. Mm. So mm -hmm. um, yeah. it's become much easier now to keep a group together, I think. And I think that's important. Like, just talking with each other uh, outside the game, about the game, is a, is a big thing. Like, mm -hmm. uh, if you become friends with someone, obviously, you will speak about other things. But, but just to have a, a secondary communication channel, if you will, um, much much easier today and i think that's important if you want to build a successful community and yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah have you guys ever felt intimidated by anybody else on the hermacraft server mm. as a no. I, I don't know if I, we didn't practice this question no, 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 I, 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 yeah. I have to say no, I, think, I think i think that's one of the nicest things about it is that i mean obviously you know there are there are certain youtube youtubers and things that you're fans of and you're kind of like i'm a little bit nervous to speak to this person <laughs> But yeah. you know, you're, I, I've never felt intimidated. I, yeah. I know, I know that because because the group, we're all very like-minded people. We're all, as you say, we're all here for the same thing. So we all know uh, what we're getting into, and we start talking to someone. We have common ground. It's like, hey, we both like building ridiculous Minecraft projects. Let's just get to it, mm. and then you you just have friendship from there. You kind of go back and forth and, and chat to one another from there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, it's it's mutual respect. Like yeah. we, we don't build with diorite in other people. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. And I, I think that's important. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I've never felt intimidated. But but like you said though, there has been moments. I remember still uh, we, we saw on the on the video behind us uh, uh, brought me back to the Mesa to season four. And the first time it was actually you and me, Ren, we 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 jumped in a call with one of our big heroes at the time and still hero, Etho. Who's, mm. who's a member, and we, we, yeah. we flew around with Elytra for a few minutes, and we were starstruck, you know, that has <laughs> yeah. happened, but, yeah. but um, no, uh, no, I've never been intimidated. No. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well um, we did let people know that we were on the way here for Minecon 2018, and uh, the Reddit went a little bit crazy. They, bit. they got us some very interesting questions. <laughs> Well, thanks to yeah. you. Most of the questions that we got on our YouTube video announcing this was about fax machines. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Good yeah. job, Brad. The younger yeah. generations yeah. have no idea what a fax machine is. <laughs> <laughs> or pretty much all my questions are, what is a fax machine? What is yeah. Really? Yeah. What, what I does mean, that thing do? I did have to jump off the boat a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we do, we do have some very interesting questions from the Reddit. So thank you, everybody, for commenting in the comment section, for getting to the Reddit and, and getting involved. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to answer everyone's questions. Uh, no. There were... Many. <laughs> uh, so we've sort of picked and choose a couple that we thought might be interesting to chat uh, through today. Um, so let's get right into it, shall we? Our newest hermit on the server, Grian. Doesn't have any numbers in his name. No. no. Which is great. No. As the pros um, do. He's joined us for season six. <laughs> it has been a blast having an arm, hasn't it, guys? It has been mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 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 really cool. Being yeah. able to join us. Great. Can I just suggest, yeah. like, Green 85. Does that really sound bad? I think that sounds pretty good. It does roll right? with the tongue. Yeah, yeah Green 85. Hello, Green 85. I'm good. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Green's brought something very interesting to the server. One of the most unique things that we've done on our server to date. It's called tag. Mm. Mm. And it's, it's pretty much like real life tag. You, uh, you tag a mate of yours on the server, but it's definitely evolved into something much more yeah. than just tag. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was flying around the server the, uh, the other day, and I was just I was kind of flying around the builds, just seeing what other people had done. You know, sometimes it's nice to check up on, on what the other hermits are up to. Yeah. And I just approached this enormous structure, and I was like, what on earth is this? Like, someone's <laughs> built something serious. And then I was like, this is the tag headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember I used to play tag at school like with my friends. We didn't yeah. have anything like that, that's for sure. So this is like the most <laughs> insane game it, of tag ever. It's and been crazy. I've mean, heard that the, the parkour yeah. as well i think have you been yeah, yeah, I, don't want stuck. I think yeah. i think it's gone yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> my my <laughs> mission this season with the tag game is is to get ren at some point <laughs> solely for the enjoyment of watching a six hour long episode <laughs> of him trying the first jump in that parkour 
I will not be tagged and say it on camera. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's, it is not going to happen. But uh, it has been a very interesting game. I mean, do we think that the, a game like tag is, is a good idea for a server is the question that I we got yes. from, uh, from Reddit. Oh, it's already, yeah. We had fun tagging. Yeah. It's already gotten out of hand, I will say. <laughs> the, the stuff you've, we've added to the game already with the, with the villager head. Yeah. And yeah. The, yeah. What is it? The, the, the trousers? The trousers, yeah. yeah. The thing, I was, yeah. Man, the I, shame. I was AFK the other day, and then I was, just, I was editing some videos, and I was logged in in the background, and I just heard this crunch <laughs> from my <laughs> Minecraft window. <laughs> yeah, they're just... <laughs> yeah. And the, so I opened up Minecraft, and, and Green, who I think is currently tagged, I'm not 100% certain, but he was there, and you just see this villager head just, <laughs> just filling the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell off my chair. It was like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I panicked. I was like, I'm, do I'm done for the day. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm leaving it. the office. This yeah. Is it. yeah, yeah. It's I been mean, a, it's been a great addition to the to the Thermocraft server. I think, I think yeah, it's such a fantastic idea. And speaking about multiplayer Minecraft that we've been speaking about here for a while, I mean, mini games are what can oh, make yeah. a server. So, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes the most simple of things, like we we spend. I mean, some people spend a whole season trying to build an arena for PvP fighting. Every some people, some, some people, people do that every <laughs> season yeah, and never yeah. finishes it. And then someone comes around, whom I may suggest adds 85 to his name or tag, uh, and, and introduces a mini game that is so genius and yeah. it, it doesn't take any setup. So it's, it's been fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's also worth mentioning like things that bring multiplayer servers together. So I, I'd say there's there's kind of like a few little things, and I'd say one of them is definitely shopping. I think yeah. shopping yes, is definitely. something it's that amazing. it just there's something so nice about. If you if you're struggling for a certain resource, just being able to go in yes. and spend diamonds, it can be a problem because you can mm -hmm. splash <laughs> way more diamonds than you expect. <laughs> so you're constantly trying to keep up with with getting the diamonds, so you can actually continue buying things. But oh, it's just it's amazing. And also watching the shopping district expand and seeing shops appear for mm -hmm. things that you really wouldn't expect shops to be yeah. there for, yeah. like for example, Green's guinea pig service. Someone had to use yeah. like there's just lots of strange things that pop up yeah. that you. You can, uh, yeah. that you can make use of and it's uh yeah. Yeah, I think that definitely helps bring the community together. You know, I think, I think it's a great testament to, to Minecraft as a game. I mean, as I said uh, the, in the intro, we're on our sixth season of Hermitcraft, right? That is thousands of videos yeah. that have oh, been yeah. put out. And yeah. still, we, we all having fun. In fact, I think this is, in my opinion anyway, my favorite season that I've oh, had yeah, so sure. far. Oh, yeah, and yeah. it just shows you that from nothing, so much can be created. I mean, the tag game started as punching someone with a name <laughs> tag. Yeah. And now they, I mean, we, we, if we sat here and went through the actual rules of tag, the, this panel would just be. <laughs> yeah, that would be, the, it, would be, it wouldn't be you the know? Hermitcraft panel, it would be the tag panel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Read that they're book. very much up for debate in the comment section, by the way, is that whenever you tag someone, people are, the comments are very, very, you know, they're persnickety about the rules, let's just say. <laughs> yes. And the, I they must the, be followed. <laughs> yeah, they must be followed <laughs> yeah. to the T. Uh, oh, that's God. one thing that I've found. So, there was yeah. nothing in the rule book against putting mending on the trousers. <laughs> just want to have that said. I just want to have that said. That was totally fine. Um, now, it's kind of interesting. I, I think we can all agree. We, we often get the same questions in, in our video comment sections. The same questions come in all the time. One of those questions is a very interesting one that we wanted to answer for you guys today. Um, how much work goes into setting up a new season of, of Hermitcraft? I think this is a question that, that I, I would love to get my teeth stuck into with you guys. Because yeah. mm. I, when I, I used to watch Hermitcraft before I was a hermit, I literally thought they fired up a new world, everybody joined, and bam, that was the season. Mm. How wrong I was. <laughs> How wrong I yeah. was. What does it take to set up a new season of Hermitcraft, guys? Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot that goes into it. I mean, it depends on what sort of update Mojang has come out with what sort of things we're looking for in the season, you know, picking certain seeds. Uh, we even had, for example, for uh, season five, Tango set up a, a seed finder for us to find, yeah. find a certain seed with quad witch huts and everybody else wanted a, a mushroom island. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we wanted to have yeah. like five mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms. Precisely. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. So quite a lot of work goes into it. Uh, we've done a lot of work for, for season six too, to find the, the, right, the right seed. And I know uh, some people wanted certain things. We wanted, a, we wanted something around an ocean. Yeah. So we could make a, an aquatic update. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, think, I, think, I think it's very important, actually, more important than I thought when I joined, mm -hmm. to actually put a little bit of planning behind starting a new world because these are things that should last for at least like a year normally. But it's been it's been easier with with how how well the game has been updated lately as well. Like mm -hmm. there, yeah. we we were we thought that Hermitcraft Six would start sometime in April and and it, it started in June. But I think that the fact that we waited for update Aquatic was such a good thing. And, and yeah. I, I mean, some people are very uh, 
a very planned last season personal experience. I, I me and Ren, we, we were planning the Plastic Fantastic. We had mm -hmm. we had been sketching for hours. Mm -hmm. We were sitting there. And we were this is gonna be great. And and this season, I actually had zero plans. I was like. We'll see what happens. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where does the first bumbo appears? And <laughs> it, it got easy when, when yeah. certain builders, <laughs> buildings started being built. I mean, it's, it's very interesting because some hermits have a, a huge plan mm. for the season. They know exactly what they're doing for the first six months, eight months. Other hermits just, the inspiration comes to them. But uh, the reality is that it does take us a couple months mm -hmm. at the very yeah. least oh, to, yeah. to figure out what we're going to play on. Yeah. I mean, I remember being in a, in a meeting together. We were looking for a seed for season six. We were all on Mine Atlas, yeah. just generating <laughs> random seeds, yep. trying to spot you know, what we, what we might wanted to use in season six, ended up not using any of that. <laughs> um, we, we had a plan there, we went back again and then things changed. Uh, it is. It, it I do, I do want to say though, pick, pick a good seed is important and, and yep. like sort of have a general idea what the server wants together. If you have a community that is restarting, that's starting a new world, have a general idea what you want to do. Season five, we knew that we did not want to do shopping. Mm -hmm. And season six, we knew that we wanted yeah. to do shopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but as a community, like have have a general idea, but then don't overdo it either, because we've seen that we've had too many meetings sometimes about <laughs> yeah. is this seat better than this seat, and essentially yeah. they're the same. <laughs> yeah. like, they're two blocks yeah. different. So and, and of course the new update has brought us, you know, oh, tridents, yeah. which Mumbo got to try out for the first time. Uh, I did, yeah, no, I, and I'm, dis I'm not disappointed. I'm a Microsoft <laughs> Mojang thing. They're lovely. They're brilliant. <laughs> I won't say anything bad about them. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's interesting. It's something I've actually I've been reading through the comment section. It, it, it appears that I'm misinformed of Trident and quite <laughs> how they function. So I'm going to get back to it and see how yeah. well that goes. But it's interesting because the Aquatic Update has basically um, molded our season, hasn't it? Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. aquarium type yes. builds, a lot of aquatic stuff, which is unfortunate um, considering last season I built a very nice ocean base mm -hmm. uh, that you know I kind of wish I had these features present when you I was were ahead of the curve. Yeah, I was ahead of the curve. I feel like I was the inspiration. <laughs> yeah, maybe. you were the inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I, you know, one of the things that a lot of our fans want to hear us talk about in real life is pranks. Mm -hmm. okay. let's, let's just let's get it out there. Let's talk about the pranks. It's been a it's be, it's been a very prank heavy season six, yes. and it's been amazing. Yeah, yeah. It, it has been awesome. Yeah. Um, a lot of people want to know a little bit how we do pranks. How do we, how do we deal with them? Um, maybe we should chat a little bit about that. To give an example, Cub and I have a deal. Yes. If I prank Cub, I don't tell him about it. If he pranks me, I don't tell him about it. It's 100% right. anonymous. I want to have the fresh prank <laughs> experience. Absolutely, that's critical. But that's critical. not necessarily how it is on on the on the server as a whole. Uh, stress. How do you how do you deal with pranks on the server? I don't actually think I've had a prank this year. Not that I want to say that <laughs> right now. I'm just <laughs> saying it. I'm like, moved. maybe I shouldn't have said it's, that. That's probably because you're the ice queen of the season. Yeah, I'm, I'm the ice queen. Yeah, my hands together. Yeah. <laughs> no, Getting ready. It's not like Getting last ready. year. I loved Calm. your UFO thing. That oh you yeah, did with my stress monster. That was great. I loved that so much. It was you made know, up so much iron though. And funny I just th to funny take thing it. about that. Stress and I, who were part of a, a pranking group on the server called the Convex. Uh, we pranked all these guys. Pretty yep. much everyone on Hermitcraft, yep. I think, has, I has been has been pranked at one time or another, and we actually were going to build a stress monster oh, you? like you did before, Yeah. but then you built it already, and so we were like, what do we do? Oh, <laughs> what do we do? I got confused, though, because you put cows in there. Yes. But the cows, you know how usually in, in sci-fi the cows go up, they, the cows get abducted? Well, this time oh. the, the tables have turned, the cows are abducting you. Oh, oh. That's the idea. <laughs> That's the idea. That, that's, that's always amazing. the convex way, though. They always think so much. Like, there's yeah. so much. That's and that's what makes it great as well. Yeah. Yeah. You do put a lot of time and effort into the yeah. pranks. We want to make mm. builds that sort of enhance your your builds and, and ev yeah. everyone's yeah. builds on the server mm. so that it, it sort of is a positive thing. Are you, say, than are, yeah. are you saying that 57 cold blocks in a magenta <laughs> colored, magenta colored Schalke box named the Bumbo Toolbox? <laughs> is not thought through. <laughs> that's in my under chest at all times. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But a lot of effort does go into, into our pranks, at least. And I know a prank we pulled on Mumbo last season uh, included Mumbo in with a uh, 
certain certain base was was yeah, quite interesting. Yeah, no, that was actually a lot of people's favourite point for for this uh, for the previous season, Hermitcraft season five, is actually uh, me yeah. playing a part in your prank in being <laughs> a sinking ship in Iskalium uh, <laughs> over by uh, Iskal's base. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think I fared that well. I no, think no, you you were kind of chilling out, and yeah, we could have done something to help, but we decided actively not to help. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, it's the bravest way, I yeah. guess. I think, so. I, I think the reality is that that the pranks on the Hermitcraft server are, are probably one of our favorite things as a group. We absolutely love them. Um, some are pre-planned, some are not. Um, and, you know, it, it, we all have a great time doing it. And yeah. it's, it's yeah. been such a... We never know. discussed them before that. One thing, though, is no, yeah. none of it's never, ever... Never I, I, I never point. know. There may, yeah. Yeah. There's maybe a warning. Yeah, uh, you know, no, no, warning, warning. no warning. What it no. normally <laughs> is, what I normally see is I normally get a message that just says, start recording when you get on the server. <laughs> and then you go to yourself, all right, okay, that means that there's, <laughs> that there's got to be something, and I have no clue what it's going to be. And the funniest thing about a prank is that you never know what the scale is going to be either. Like yeah. You could pop in, and it yeah. could be something like beautiful, beautifully geometric, like a, a ball, at the, a balloon eye at the top of my base, <laughs> uh, which is now going to yeah. be, you know, it's going to be a permanent feature. Yeah. Or it could be an enormous pixel art structure. Yeah. Um, so you never know. You well, know. guys, listen, I, I would love to chat with you guys more, but unfortunately, we're getting the signal here. We need to wrap things up. Yep. I, for one, cannot wait to get back on the Hermitcraft server. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> no, it's going to be made my cops in a couple of days. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to twitch yep. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Draws are kicking in. for two days now. It's, yeah. Yeah. But guys, it's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you. Um, yeah, absolutely. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hermitcraft panel from the Minecon Earth 2008. I don't even know what camera I'm looking at right now. <laughs> guys, that one. There we that go. One. Bye. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. We will see you all on YouTube in a couple days, I yeah. think. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See Bye. 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 Bye.